Okay, hello, welcome back. Um, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I don't know if anyone's like ever done something like this before. Um, hello, come back. Okay, I, I'm so close to killing that guy. So we're going to be doing some building and I'm going to be dissecting one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, because I'm really bored and I have nothing else to do. So, we're going to be fixing this because it's a, I believe it's a block off. And we are going to be talking about a very special song today called Famous Prophets and in parentheses Stars by Car Seat Headrest. So, Car Seat Headrest has been my favorite band for about three years now. Um, I'm a huge fan. Um, if you don't know who they are and you're watching this video... Well, you're about to learn. I highly recommend you check out their stuff. Like, genuinely, it's some of the best music I've ever heard. I think Will Toledo is a modern genius. And, um, and yeah, so we can, we can get right into it real quick. I'm following a tutorial, for, by the way, so no one hate. Yeah, so I'm, I'm also watching the tutorial right now, so you're gonna have to, like, bear with me here. That buying is gonna get on my fucking nerves, like, so fast here. Okay, so we have to move this, and then... I believe it should be bar So let's get rid of this shit down here. Um and then let's get rid of this business, yeah. Anyway, um we can just jump right in here cuz I want to talk I want to begin with the first couple lines of the song cuz I kind of just wanted to like dissect it a little bit. I don't know if that's like really really strange or not. But I just, I have a very, like, intense love for this song. Um, just due to the fact that, like, I was going through a lot of hard times when I heard it. Like, as most people are, obviously. And, you know, it just kind of spoke to me in a way that no other music ever had. Um, and I love sharing that with people. Because it's really just... I know Will Toledo's like, oh, like, he's so gay, like, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Lee Will Toledo, if you don't know, is the lead singer of this band. He's incredible, he is an absolute genius, and I am so in- Oh, why did I just do that? Whatever. I am consistently inspired by his work, like, throughout my life. Just every day, I'm just, like, in awe of, kind of, you know, what he's done and what he was writing. He wrote some of his first stuff, he was in a band at, like- Oh, that's my brother. Ignore him. He was online. Um, he was in a band at, at a very young age, and he was writing this a lot of these incredible lyrics when he was only 16 um, or 17. I mean, just like very, very young, and it's impressive to see, you know, this kind of talent from someone so young. Wow, I can't believe I've messed this up three times. That's actually crazy. Um, Yeah, so... Just starting with this, like, these first couple lines, um, when we get into the song, I recommend, it, like, I don't know, like, pull up the lyrics or something. Um, but he starts off with, apologies to future me's and you's, but I can't help feeling like we're through. The ripping of the tape hurts my ears. It's, okay, so we start out with some fire-ass rhymes, first of all. Let me, let me begin here. I didn't do move that block. Um, but he's just being, like, he's just talking about, you know, like, I don't even know. He's just, like... Mourning a lost relationship is how it feels to me. Again, I mean, this can be interpreted in a million different ways, um, depending on the person. But for me, it feels, you know, I found this song when I was going through a rough breakup. And this feels to me like kind of a love song to people who have, you know, kind of struggled through that and uh, come out on the other end. And it really, to me, embodies a lot of what it is like to be a teenager and what it is to be experiencing all these things for the first time with all these people that, I mean, these random human beings, but you're all going through this, this stage of your life at the same exact time together. And it's interesting seeing, I don't know, how Will Toledo is able to explore this idea um, of his youth and his relationships as a teenager while also kind of reflecting back on it as a grown man, which he obviously is now because he's like 30, 31. So moving on, in my years, I have never seen anyone quit quite like you do. I love that line because it's like, I don't know. It just is the feeling of like, 
I've never seen any anyone give up in the same way that you have given up on me. And that mm-hmm. that has struck such a chord with me. Um because it's like it's like real as hell, you know, it's like, yeah. Like <laughs> I've never seen anyone mm-hmm. quit, you know, quite like you do. I've never seen anyone give up so easily and so quickly and without a care of the world. And it's hurts and it and it, it feels like, you know, someone's like ripping your heart out. Um, just that line is just like, wow, you know, like feel how he's been hurt and i really genuinely ad- adore and admire um just the lyricism in this and then we'll skip ahead a little bit you know twin bruises on my shins whatever blah blah blah, blah. it's like oh the bruises they're fading they're gone you know the the pain that you left is fading but the memory of you is still there and i think that's incredible um but then we move on to arguably one of my favorite lines in any piece of music ever like i could write a whole i mean thesis just on this this specific line these teenage hands will never touch yours again this is where like you can really see sorry i'm like geeking out right now this is like my favorite thing to talk about in the world (laughs) but it's like it's so real because it's I don't know. These teenage hands will never touch yours again. When I heard that for the first time, I was like, holy shit, dude, holy shit, I need to kill myself. Like, it was actually, like, heartbreaking. Because for me, it was just, like, a, a kind of a goodbye and a, and a love letter and just, like, you know? Like, <laughs> I mean, it. you can see it. This one doesn't really need much dissecting, but it means so much more when, than just that sentence. It's just, like, you can feel the emotion in how he sings the lyric, which is why, obviously, I recommend you go and listen to the music, because I'm not about to get copyright striked on, like, my first YouTube video ever. That's fucking stupid. Um, but, I mean, it's just mind-blowing and impressive and makes me, you know, fall in love with this song, is the just... Because, you know, like, for some, sometimes when I see artists singing about how, like, they're still teenagers and yada yada, it's like, oh, okay, bro, whatever, like, grow up. But with him, it's like, you know that he wrote a lot of these lines when he was a teenager, and this feels like a send-off to his teenage self and to his teen- teenage relationships, which I admire so much. Because it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, these teenage turns will never touch yours again, ah! Uh. Like, I will never touch you again, and that's so sad. It's so sad to see someone that you loved and to look at them and say, I will never touch you again, and that is heartbreaking, and you can relate to that with anything. You can relate to that with friendships, with parents, with, I mean, literally anyone. It's like, I am a teenager now, and I will not always be a teenager, but as I am now, I will never touch you again, and that is heartbreaking and makes me really, really sad. (laughs) Like, really, really sad, guys. Like... (laughs) Uh, it just hurts so much. <laughs> Sorry, the dramatics. Um, can you tell I love this song? Anyhow, moving on. Moving on. There just there isn't a lot more here that I really want to mention. Of course, there's a million more incredible lines because obviously it's Will Toledo and of okay, hello, and of course he wrote a million more incredible lines. But there's none that really struck such an intense chord with me here until we kind of hit, we go through this whole thing where he's like, did I waste my time? You know, was it, was it all a waste to spend this time with you? Cause I thought I loved you and you just, you know, kicked me to the curb. Like, did I waste my teenage years with someone who wasn't really the one, which is kind of the epitome of what it's like, how, like creating relationships in high school, especially knowing like that nothing's probably going to last for very long. And, you know, feeling time slipping away as your life is happening is is a very delicate feeling and one that I, I doubt a lot of people feel very often. So the way that this is constructed and phrased is just very, you know, it, it, it hits very hard with young people, which I can completely understand because it's, it's just... <laughs> I will rave for literally 10 years about this song. But yeah, moving on, um, we hit kind of that, where he talks about whatever, Christmas tree's dead, you know, time flies, sad, 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 very time, you know, passage of time, I'm growing up, yada, yada. Then we kind of hit the, there'll be 
this lyric here. There'll be no nothing left to say. There'll be no backstage pass. We gotta go back like 17 times. Um, we gotta go back. That's how he sings it. Which is again, we're slipping away from the from the teenage romance and more into time is passing and I wish I would have been better. And I love that idea. And I he doesn't say that lyric obviously, but it's it's just a oh god just an interesting switch and i i really do love it because you know romance is so intertwined with time and fate that i do love seeing this represented as you know part of that teenage experience which is just watching life uh, pass you by and i admire that so much and now we're going to go back to this tutorial cuz I gotta, like, step it up here. See, no, what the hell? I, like, messed up, like, my spacing here. And I don't know what the, what to do about that, because this is one, two, three, four, because this is supposed to be... <sighs> this game is killing me. This tutorial is killing me. It makes me literally so upset. Because that one's perfect. So, this one... What the hell? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But that can't, that doesn't work at all. It has to be there. This is so stupid. Okay. I can't move on until I get this, guys. Sorry. Savvy! This has to be like that. One, two, three, four. Burn. Then you go here. You get out of here. One, two, three, four. You know what? Screw this. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. One. This. See, this works. One, two, three, four. Is it supposed to be in one more? No, that doesn't make sense. What do I know, though? What do I know? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm actually fucking stupid. Um. <laughs> Like, what the hell? Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, see, this was the problem. Oh, one, two, three, four. This has to go here. I see. We'll just move everything in one, honestly. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, so we do all of the We Gotta Go Backs, which is, he sings it so beautifully because, you know, a lot of times when songs repeat things a lot and it feels like, oh my god, please shut up. Um, this is obviously a lot faster when he does sing it and it feels a lot more like, I don't know, he sings it differently every time, which is something that obviously I appreciate because it's listening to the same same sentence sung the same way over and over again like 16 times is can be a little bit like oh my god shut up like i love um another song off this album sober to death um it recently got like really popular on tiktok i love that song but i cannot listen to the last like minute and 40 seconds i think because it's all the same words like repeated over and over again in the same way like i love it so much because it's so like epitome of will toledo like repetition blah 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 but sometimes I'm having a shitty day and I'm like, turn this shit off. Like, I can't right now. <laughs> Which is fine, because it's like, whatever. You know, listen to music how you want. But for me, I was like, oh my god, shut up. Please shut up. I can't do this anymore. Stop saying that. Anyhow, moving forward. Sorry, I get distracted. Now we hit another repetition section Um, after that we gotta go back. We hit, this is a very, like, iconic line if you're, you know, part of, like, the fan base and you're kind of familiar with fans and, um, Will Toledo's music and stuff like that. It's, oh, we have to redo all of this, don't we? That sucks. Um, which is the ocean washed over your grave. Sorry, I was, like, trying to, I was, like, <laughs> yeah, that was me just now. I was going, <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> That was me. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you freaking loved that. But yes, the ocean wash over your grave is like 
a, a, a repetition that you see not just in this song, but in a lot of Corsi Tedra songs. Um, you see this all over this album. I cannot remember off the top of my head what other songs it's in. I know for a fact Beach Life and Death, obviously. Um, and in a lot of demos, and I mean, all over the place, really. So, this line, hearing this, you're like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, for sure, Will Toledo, for sure. That's kind of the vibe here, is, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh-huh, okay, cool. So, it's... Yeah, it's the ocean wash over your grave. It's uh, it's a couple times, um, and then he he does this thing where it's 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 the switch here, which again is done in I believe Beach Life and Death. Oh, again, off the top of my head, I'm playing Minecraft right now too, guys. So cut me some slack. Um, he also does this alternation thing, alter alter yeah, alternating whatever. Who gives a fuck? Um, where he does the ocean washed open your grave. And then he switches to the ocean wash over your grave, which is like, it's like symbolism for like, like how, like life and death and how like the ocean washes open, like it washes you open, but then it also washes you closed. Um, when the ocean washes you open and also it washes you closed. Can we talk about that for a second? Will Toledo, if that is your real name? It's not, by the way, it's not his real name. He's a dirty liar. But yeah, that's another just cool parallel that I, I figured I'd mention because, you know, a lot of people really love that. I really, really do like that. But again, I don't have a single bad word to say about a single song on this entire album other than the repetition in Sober to Death. So really, I'm not the person to look for uh, for criticisms because uh, this is actually my favorite band of all time. So actually, uh, you could not pay me to say a bad word about them. Um but yeah, we do a, we do a couple of these, and the ocean wash over your grave. Again, I explained kind of already how how that symbolism plays out, um, just within this song and specifically the section of the song. Again, of course, the song is in sections. Um, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be six different songs in one? So moving forward, we have that a lot of times. Actually, I did not realize how many times he repeats that, and we hit one of my favorite like breaks ever because up until this point we're kind of singing like you know these teenage hands will never touch you know, it's pretty soft it's slow it's mellow it's cool you know it's fine it's cool it's it's mellow and y you get what you expect here and then it switches and you get this incredible breakdown and you can feel him kind of crumbling here and I absolutely adore that. I, I think it's it's an incredible addition here. Okay, so we hit the end of the ocean washed open your grave and we go into this um I really don't have to explain it. I know the word, but I cannot remember. It's like oh uh, like it's not like a beat drop, but that's kind of how it feels. <laughs> which is so fucking stupid. Why did I do that? Okay, whatever. Um yeah, it's really stupid, but it does feel like a beat drop in the sense that it's like, it just he just starts like letting loose, and it's crazy, and he's just like losing his shit. So we descend into cliche. If you found your holy grail, I could fill back in that grave. I could hammer in that nail. I could give you what you want. Ooh, I could give you what you deserve. Okay, okay, I could sing another song. I could watch that hammer swerve. Oh, oh my god. This part of the song makes me free my fucking pants, bro. This part of the song makes me literally want to die. It's so good. Like, to me, it's like, how dare he write these, th such an incredible line. So I descend into cliche. <sighs> if you found your holy grail. <sighs> I could fill back in that grave! I could fill the grave in! The grave that you just washed open and washed over! I could fill back in that grave! I could hammer in that nail. Like, it's like, he's he's packaging it away, he's he's having a mental breakdown, and he's like, alright, I'm fucking done, like, okay. And it's just like, oh my god, you're a genius, you're a freaking genius right now, bro, this is crazy! And I love it, and it just continues into the next bit. Which is end 
when the mirror breaks, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Call it Black Star, call it Pain Star. Pain Star being relevant uh, because there's a song on one of their unreleased albums, uh, which was outtakes from Nervous Young Man, I believe, which is another one of their albums. Um, and it's called Distracta Membra, and it's on YouTube. Um, you should check it out. But that album has this song called Pain Star Unfinished. And you can hear from when he was writing Nervous Young Man, you can hear this entire, like, guitar riff here, which is just, like, but you can hear it unfinished, and it, it's so surreal, because you hear these same familiar, like, screams, and kind of, like, the same guitar, and it's so cool, because it's, like, you can hear the song in its early stages, and for, like, a super fan, that's, like, a really, really cool, you know, experience, um... So I absolutely love that song. I if you if you're into Garcia Tedros, if you're into any of this unreleased stuff, I know it's stupid and pretentious. You should totally check it out. It's really, really groundbreaking for me. It's breathtaking and it's you know, it makes me every time I hear it, it makes me kind of sit down and and think. <laughs> like it makes me wanna like ponder, which is so stupid. But it really does. It makes me wanna sit down and and, and think about all my life and, you know just uh this is a song that needs to be enjoyed while sitting down and trying to really listen because it's otherworldly and to hear the you know unfinished version and it's just as good and it doesn't even have any lyrics it's like very very i love it then we get this this little cringe bit here um the same thing happens when you touch it did they tell you what happens when you touch it so let me tell you what happens when you touch it. Um, so, so, um, actually, what Toledo, what the hell are you talking about? Hey, I love you so much. What the freak are you saying here? Like, I know what he's doing. Like, I know. It's like he's being a little cheeky, whatever. But I'm, uh, the first time I heard this line, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? What the freak are you saying to me right now? You stupid freak? He's not stupid. I don't mean that. <laughs> He's not stupid, guys. I don't mean that. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Where? What was I doing? I for completely forgot what I was saying. So we descend into cliche. Sorry, now it's stuck in my head. Um, but that I mean, leading into the next bit, that is where we hit. Um, so descend into cliche. The next one. There's two. Um, if the music has forsaken you, roll the stone over the grave. So we're back on kind of, okay, closing up that grave, closing up that time of my life, closing you up, bye, I hate you, I hate your guts, kill you, kill yourself now. That's kind of um, the vibe right now. That's, oh, that's kind of actually the vibe. So, yeah. Where, I'm sorry, I'm looking at this tutorial right now and I have no idea where this is supposed to be. Oh, see, I didn't... Mm, I'm so stupid. So, so stupid. Okay. So, yeah. So, those go across, and then we also do a little... Mm, beep, beep. Boop. Okay. Yeah. So, we do... We hit the... Uh, roll the stone over the grave. I never liked that one anyway. He used the wrong anyway. So, anyways is actually not a word. Um... So, actually, that's grammatically incorrect. Sorry, I'm such a fucking nerd. Oh my god. Um, or stare into the face of whatever it is that's facing you. And if the levee breaks, you'll find out what it is that's replacing you. Hold on, watching tutorial. Watching tutorial, guys. Watching tutorial. Okay. Sue me. Three, four. Okay. Then hit a little beep beep. Boop. Um... Sorry. <laughs> Lost my train of thought, guys. Yeah, we hit another one of my favorite parts. I kind of skip over the, you know, levee breaks, whatever. I don't know how to say that. Sorry. Leave. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Um, You'll find out what it is that's replacing you. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say that, about that part. It's awesome. Whatever. Here is when we kind of do another repetition bit. Um, you can see that's really, like, the theme in this song, which, again, I adore. Because um, it's, call it... Black Star, call it Pain Star. The same thing happens when you touch it. We hit the, the touch it's again, and he does that a lot. And it's cool, and the way it's done is very impressive and lyrically, and it, it's aesthetically pleasing to the ears. Um, and I do love listening to it because it's like, Did they tell you? Did they tell me? 
And this line is very, can kind of hear, for one of the first times on this album, um, how Will Toledo Jenny has a really, really incredible voice. Because he goes, um, did they tell you what happened? Did they tell you? Did they tell me? What happened to you? Obviously, I can't hit that note. I'm not a singer. I never claim to be a singer. Um, I'm actually untalented in all forms of music except yapping about them, uh, them, it, for, uh, probably like an hour straight, I think. So, um, that's a fun fact about me. Um, I'm great at yapping, not so good at singing or anything else at all. So, hope y'all love that. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. This is stupid. Okay. Moving forward, we kind of hit this more of this weird overlapping like beautiful and it's very you know it sounds kind of like a symphony like a cacophony of voices coming together here like do they tell you do they tell you know there's a lot of stuff going on here and um now we hit the last little section of the song and it's this whole like speech and i'm gonna ignore most of the speech because i don't even have like the mental intelligence to comprehend like what it's saying or anything about that but the last couple lines i really love which is for now we see only a reflection as in a mirror then we shall see face to face now i know in part then i shall know fully even as i am fully known and now these two remain which is like the finale of like the romance and how twin fantasy and and you're reaching out for this person and you're connected but you're so separate and different and you can never be together and it's like this just terrible like tragedy and yes i'm gonna eat a potato in the middle of this shut the fuck up <laughs> and it's just like beautiful and mind-blowing and ending this gorgeous you know 16 15 minute song with and now these two remain is beautiful because it's embodies the idea of this album that we it's togetherness and it's attached it's it's being attached to other people obsessively I, and i i just love that this this feels the song feels like a finale and it it is i mean it is it's not the last song on the album but it is a finale to this album because those boys um well it is very good it's more of an outro whereas this song is a just a, uh, you know, those boys is an encore to the finale, to the big boom at the end of the show. And that's what it is. And I could rave for this about this song for as long as I want, but it's 9.58 and it's past bedtime and you saw me like zero progress. <laughs> we'll be back again. I'll do another one of these. This was fun. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you did watch, if you want more Car Seat Headrest, if you want me to talk about other music, I can do that. But only if I actually like it, because I'm not this passionate about everything. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, whatever. You know the drill. I don't really care. Good night.